Hey folks, how you doing? Just went for a little four wheel ride, so my hair's probably a little messed up. <laughs> um, my brother and I got our sleds out, uh, sitting in the lawn here, gonna do a little cleaning up for them today. Um, I have the Yamaha Attack, my brother has a 7000 Pantera. I, uh, I just purchased another sled, so I am cleaning this uh, Attack all up. I uh, got it on Marketplace for sale for 3200 anybody interested in it. 1000 cc 150 horsepower yamaha attack same as the apex it says the 136 inch track so really nice sled fast a lot of power uh, it's not for some young fellow it's for somebody who knows how to ride a sled um for me i have to get rid of it uh, the reason i'm getting rid of it is because it sits a little low it's like the older style of sled and it's hard for me to sit up to take you know how you sit up sometimes to take uh some of the brunt of the bumps when you come into a bunch of chattery bumps so it just pounds on my back. I have metal rods in my back and arthritis and some messed up discs and stuff in there. So I had to bite the bullet and buy something a little bit taller. You know, I tried my brother's Pantera and I really like that. It sits up higher. It's a lot easier for me to get off the seat if I need to when I'm coming to some bumps. Doesn't have quite the horsepower. It won't be quite as fast as this Yamaha, but it's all I need. You know, don't need to go bananas. I still probably do a hundred with it if it but I don't need to go that fast, obviously. But anyway, let me show you what I got here. All right, there's the Yamaha Attack. 1,000 cc, 150 horsepower. Nice nice running sled, runs awesome. My brother's Pantera over there. I got my cat, I just went and picked it up a couple of days ago, it's in here. I'll give you some video of that after when I get the trailer door open. But uh, I just got some cleaning stuff I'm gonna, in that blue bag right there. I'm gonna clean up the full, uh, snowmobile, get her all shined up, put a cover on it, and uh, hopefully somebody will be interested in buying it. Anybody wants to come and purchase that, and if you mention my main Northwoods Hunter or Handy Capable channel, maybe I'll knock a few hundred dollars off for you uh, in appreciation of uh, you know being a loyal fan of mine. <laughs> but it is a great sled. I uh, just put dual carbides on it last year. Had Originally, I bought it off of a fellow. It was originally owned by, a, he purchased it new. Um, he was 70 years old, and he said he was getting out of snowmobiling. It's getting too old, he said. Him and his son purchased two at the same time, and uh, I got this one, so I'm only, I'm only the second owner. Anyway, he had uh, four-inch carbides on their singles, and uh, that didn't, it was darting a little bit with those, so I went to a six-inch uh Woody's carbide and those did pretty good but still darting a little bit so I put dualies on it because that's what my brother has he has duals on his dually carbides and those work good they don't they don't uh dart hardly at all now but the only problem is in the when you drive it into the the trailer there's so much traction on the ground now with those dualies on there it's hard to back up sometimes so it kind of slides you gotta gotta get get some throttle on it to back it up but anyway and I also did put carbides I mean, uh, studs, 96 studs on the track. It's a 136 track. Um, there was no studs on it when I purchased it. But it rides good, has the bag goes with it. Now, I also, also have a, um extra large what is it, FXR jacket I'll throw in with it. If uh, And I just paid $360 for that jacket last year or the year before. I can't remember. But uh, it's a really nice jacket, and it's kind of color matched to the sled. Anyway, and it's a, it says Yamaha on the jacket and everything. It's a really nice jacket, but... Yep, that's the sled. I'll, let me get up there and I'll get you a close-up view and I can start it up for you. Okay, I'm on the sled now. Turn the key. I haven't started at all this morning. Now you got to turn the key and let the fuel pump do its job and wait for it and then turn it over. <laughs> Right up, run. 
runs good. I'm gonna clean her up a little bit. It does have the reverse right here. They pull that out, mechanical reverse. Very good sled. In the track and the studs. You can see she's hardly even been used. I've, I don't know if I got 500 miles on the track and studs. I mean, well, the track has more than that, obviously, but the studs don't. Put those all in myself. They're really good. None of them are bent tracks. Nothing's torn. Tracks are still in really good shape. Looks good under there. The only problem when you put these on and you back up your sled into a, some snow or anything, your studs go into your. I did that no, like the last day I rode the sled. <laughs> Should probably cut it right from here. That way it won't catch so quickly. But brand new one of these are like. $50 on eBay I've seen, so not too expensive. And if you cut from there, that line right there across, it'd be less likely to have that happen after that. Other than that, she's in really good shape. I'm just cleaning her up still. Going over it, checking the oil and starting them up and all that good stuff. That's what we usually do about this time of year, September. It's good sled. Gonna miss it when she's gone, but can't have two. Can't afford two sleds. Got her all shined up a little bit. I didn't do the seat because I didn't want it to be too slippery. All I got is like armor all and stuff. But everything else all protected and cleaned up. She looks pretty good. It's a good sled. <laughs> like I say, I hate having to let her go. Especially when you're losing horsepower. <laughs> Get used to one thing, then you lose it. But I'd give somebody a good deal. And I'm asking 32. I started out at 38, so I'm down to 32. And like I said, if you come and look at it and do mention my YouTube channel and stuff, and maybe I'll knock another couple of hundred bucks off for you. But I really appreciate somebody to take a look at it. It's a really good sled, and it's done me real well. Always started. Run good. Well, there's my new-to-me sled. Bought it up in Mapleton. Main went by Presque Isle. Got the 137, my other one's a 136. But yeah, as you can see, the seat height is a lot higher. It'll be a lot easier for me to, to get my butt off the seat when I get into some bad bumps. Cause my high back, it's not like I'm that anymore, even on the whole wheeler. But uh, yeah, she definitely looks like she needs some cleaning too. That's why I have to sell my Yamaha. Hopefully I have good luck with this one. One more good look at it from the front after I get her all cleaned up. It's a hell of a sled. Less, a little less than, was it, 6,742 miles I think it has on it. It's really low mileage for a sled that's an 07. She hasn't been ridden a whole lot, you can tell. Real strong. Anybody knows how to work on the suspension a little bit. That might be a little bit of tweaking. I don't know how to do it. We've been trying to tweak it a little bit with the shocks. Uh, a buddy of mine said you can also do something with a limiter strap that might help with it because it was hard on my back, but that's just a style of sled too, and it's a heavy sled, but it's great for trails. All kinds of power. Good for towing too if you want to put a hitch on it.